the local children formed a guard of honor between the house and the landing field, waiting impatiently, with minds a little confused, perhaps, by the strange sight of Mrs. Ryan's cousin, who visited her and brought a helicopter, who was the President of the United States and Mrs. Ryan's cousin. Mary Ann Ryan did the honors with the silver teapot. The local curate, Father Myrna, met the president. It was a reception and a tea party. Here, it seemed, it was the visitor who was at ease, inviting and welcoming all contact with his fellow guests. Nothing was too trivial to be interesting. No one was unwelcome to his attention and his time. There was no effort of concentration. There was energy and talent to spare. Mrs. Ryan, who uh, she and her friends who cooked all this. I hope everybody who came with us from the country, the United States, all the press, everything, will take something because uh, this was a, a great effort on their part. We promise we'll come only once every <laughs> ten years. <laughs> and uh, as I said inside, we want to uh, drink a cup of tea to uh, all the Kennedys who went and all the Kennedys who stayed. You've been terrific. Oh, we're not going yet. We're mistaken. So we're late. <laughs> no, no courtesy was ignored, no kindness overlooked. Justice must be done to the splendid tea that was set out. And the newsmen, too, on a long and exhausting tour, must eat. In the midst of a family reunion, and in the eyes of all Ireland, 
there was still time to remember things that no one would have noticed if he had forgotten. Yeah, I will. I will. You bet. I want to get one with you, guys. And then, before he left, a picture of the Kennedys together. Mrs. Ryan and her daughter, Josie, with Mrs. Jean Smith. On the president's left, Mary Ann Ryan, and Mrs. Whitty in her black hat and coat on the right. A picture for a family album. A picture of the historic occasion. <laughs>